up, guys? Welcome to the CCC. I'm Shane. I'm Dan. And we are back for a strain review today. Double, double strain review. Double strain review. We've actually got two really, really nice yep. uh, flower samples here to check out for you guys. From the herb shop in Colorado Springs. That's right. I stopped by the herb shop the other day. Um, they literally had this stuff literally just came out of the back and got done curing like as I walked in there. It was really fresh, definitely. I just broke down this Durban poison. They were literally taking off the, the last of their old batches and mm. bringing out the fresh stuff. So this is like the first of their weed to hit the shelves from their new grow. And it's I gotta give them props, man. Yeah. I have here in front of me the, what they're calling Kid Kush. Um, no. couldn't, couldn't really find much on that. Though. Yeah, I, there's nothing about Kid Kush anywhere online. Um, I talked to one of the guys there and uh, he gave me a little bit of background on it. It's basically, and, and it seems dead on when you check it out. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a some kind of variation of a pre-98 Bubba Kush. Yeah. Um, it honestly just looks to me like some of the best pre-98 I've ever seen. Um, Definitely. As far as the structure, you know, mm -hmm. it could be th the closest thing you're going to find online if you actually try to do a search for Kid Kush um, is like the Oregon Kid Blackberry Kush just mm -hmm. because of common words. But we've smoked a ton of Blackberry. Blackberry was huge this in is California. Not we've smoked a ton of pre-98 Bubba. Mm -hmm. This is that pre-98. That's pre-98 Bubba. It's got the, it's got the uh, structure, you know, it's got the... It's super caked up like pre-98. It's but it's pre-98 on roids. Yeah, it's got the color, you know. Mm. But it, it is on steroids for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. as you see though, this stuff is just absolutely covered in frost. Covered. Like it could not be caked up. any more. I, I would love to see this this uh, particular flower it's just as a, far as extraction. I bet this would make some awesome oil. For yeah. it. Probably full melt as well. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks. It has a ton of tiny little heads though, instead of like bigger heads. You know, it's got a ton of tiny little heads. Yeah, it's not real oily. So the yield might not be too well, too good. But on. but it's another one of the, like on the plant, like Bubba. It's another one of those ones that that has you know real frosty inner leaves and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So that kind of helps make up for that. True for hash yeah. making, but the trim is super frosty. All I'm trying to say is this stuff is just absolutely beautiful to look at, mm -hmm. just because of the way it shines. Yeah. And light we got two joints rolled up here i have the, the kid, pre-98 in the front kid, of me pre <clears throat> the kid, kid kush whatever. oh and then dan has some durban poison durban poison um obviously this is a sativa dominant um <coughs> it smells kind of like a xj13 slash like jack career but it's a little more sweet um whereas jack's a little more spicy you know at least that's what i get from it um it kind of tastes similar to like an XJ13. Um, super frosty though. The dry hit is super, super hazy, you know. Tell me that doesn't smell like a white gummy bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Doesn't that smell like that super like, I mean it smells like artificial fruity, mm -hmm. but just super, super fruity and like citrusy. Yeah, it's definitely different from the F1 Durban. Um, the poison is more, definitely more hazy, more jacky. Um, mm. But I love that turp, you know, it makes good oil. It's just loud, yeah, I was just gonna say, I would, I was just Durban saying, I'm drooling over oil. that, what kind of oil that would make, but I would probably, if I had my choice, I would probably wanna see this one first, actually. Yeah. Just cause that sweet, sweet candy smell, like, oh. This would probably squish really good for rosin, too. For rosin, yeah. Yeah, both of these, both these strains. I don't know. I didn't see any kind of test results or anything on this, but I would expect really, really high uh, THC. THC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, tastes awesome. Real, real fruity. Yeah, this, this is this is pre ninety eight through and through. I don't remember if they said it was a, a pre ninety eight cross, meaning pre ninety eight you mix with something else, mm -hmm. or if it was uh, you know just a, a, a particular cut or, you know, if it's just pre-98 or whatever, you just said there was some pre-98 in the background, but that's all I'm getting through and through. Yeah, let me taste that. Yeah. That Durban's really sweet though, too. <coughs> we got two, basically the reason I picked these two strains, one, because the, they look the best, and two is good good for video purposes because they're complete opposites. We got a heavy indigo over here. We got more sativa, sativa. dominant over there. This is gonna give you 
a complete different kind of buzz than that would give you, so it's kind of going to be interesting to see Ooh. you mixing the two. Ooh. I'm sorry, but this one's this one's better than the Durban. I'm going to be honest. Ooh, I don't know. Or maybe it's just such Ooh, a different maybe it's such a different change in the palate, like. That one has a more that one has a more full flavor, but this one has a kind of a more of a sharp like fruity flavor that kind of lingers a little bit longer. It was just so weird going from that like hazy, um, you know, Jackie taste to this like real deep bubba taste, you know. Yeah, like I said, it's like complete opposites as far as smell, you know, flavor, taste. You know, that whole profile and then the medicinal effects and just the effects, the buzz, it's just completely this different. This is definitely pre-98 too. It almost, it, all, it also kind of reminds me of like a really, really, really good sweet master kush almost, you know? Like it's like almost kind of like a, a pre-98 with a, a master kush in there. Yeah, I love... <coughs> hey, don't be shy to come hit this, man. I love the lime green look of this. This, uh... Not here in the Durban. Yeah, I love. I've always loved weed <coughs> like this. That's just it, as mm. light lime green as can be. Man, that 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 bubba is tasty though. Man. I gotta say, both of these are manicured really, really well. Mm -hmm. I gotta give props to the uh, to the growers and the trimmers on these totally. for sure. Yeah. You can tell it was pulled at just the right time. It wasn't all beat up in the trim process. Yeah, and I like when I hold a butt up like that and I can still see the hairs sticking off of it, you know what I mean? It hasn't been sitting in a turkey bag, it hasn't been moved from one bag to the next. It just makes it feel, uh, you know, it's just nice to have something that feels so direct from the plant, you know? Mm -hmm. You always like fresh medicine, you know? Yeah. And the cure on that bubba couldn't be any, or I mean the trim on that bubba couldn't be any better. Yeah. And the cure as well, like I said, this stuff, they literally had curing in the back, like, and bringing it out to put it on the shelf as I walked in, so I was pretty stoked that I was able to get a fresh batch of their stuff. Being mm -hmm. a, this is the first stuff I've had on the show from the herb shop. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I have smoked their flowers before, they usually do have pretty good flowers, they grow banana kush, that's pretty nice mm -hmm. as well. I don't know, My, me personally, I would rate the Bubba just a little higher. Um, I'm, I've always been an indica guy though, I've, I've always admitted that, so I mean... The buzz on the pre-98 has always been really heavy. Just Bubba in general, you know, it's just another another one of the cushions. Master has been one that, that has never really hit me as hard. And that's pr probably, for a lot of people, that's probably why it's faded in popularity a lot. Mm -hmm. But OG and Bubba are just always gonna be staples because they they always get the job done, you know? Yep. But, uh, I don't know. Are we gonna rate these? I mean, yeah. I yeah, I'm giving them what, what could be better. <laughs> I mean, that it's hard to hate on on good know, yeah I mean, on good weed, you know. Especially out in Colorado too, because it's hard. It's really hard to find um, weed that's not super dried out. And like a lot, yeah. That's one one thing I was gonna say. Like this, a lot of weed may be this good, but it's getting dry. it this fresh yeah. from a collective is something that is pretty hard to time to make that possible. Yeah. So that's definitely a plus. If a lot of people grow really good weed and then they get lazy with the cure or the trim process, that definitely didn't happen here. There's ash all over. Um, yeah, we didn't bring the ash tray until the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. Well, fuck it. Oh, well. <laughs> but uh, this is some bomb weed, 10 out of 10. Yeah. We're baked. I would say 10 for sure. Thank you guys for joining us you for should. another video. That's who I am. You know who he is. I'm Dan. See you later. Later.